Good morning. Your inspirational vitamin for today, this Monday, this Labor Day Monday, is going to come from Matthew chapter 9. I'm going to start reading over in verse 35, and we'll pick up there. Jesus was going through all the cities and villages, teaching in their synagogues, and proclaiming the gospel of the kingdom, and healing every kind of disease and every kind of sickness. Seeing the people, he felt compassion for them, because they were distressed and dispirited, like sheep without a shepherd. Then he said to his disciples, The harvest is plentiful, but the workers are few. Therefore, ask the Lord of the harvest to send out workers into his harvest. And so as Jesus is going about teaching and proclaiming the kingdom of God, the good news of the kingdom of God, and healing people, he basically sees, man, there are so many needs. He, he sees these people that are struggling. The Bible describes it as they were distressed and dispirited, and they were like sheep without a shepherd. You know, I think we could say that right now with what's going on in our world with this pandemic, particularly in our country with a lot of the civil and social unrest, there are a lot of people looking for answers. There are a lot of people that are like sheep without a shepherd. They are dispirited and distressed. And I love Jesus's response to the situation. He says, basically, it's true. Jesus was just one man. Yes, he was the son of God and he could do miraculous things. He had the ability ability to heal and um, to save people. But he basically said, you know, I am only one man and I can be at one place at one time. So the solution to all of these needs is that the world needs more workers for the kingdom of light. The world needs more disciples of Jesus out there trying to help be the hands and feet of Jesus to take care of needs. And so he he calls his disciples to him and says, pray for the Lord of the harvest. Pray for God to send more workers out because the harvest is plentiful. There are open people. There are needs that need to be met. And guess what? People are going to be receptive to having their needs met. We just need more people to go out and to preach the good news, and to try to be healers and peacemakers in the world. And if you keep reading, because back when the Bible was originally written, there were no chapter divisions or or verses in it. Chapter 10 starts off right after he tells his disciples to pray for more workers. Look at what Jesus does in Matthew 10 and verse 1. Jesus summoned his 12 disciples and gave them authority over unclean spirits to cast them out and to heal every kind of disease and every kind of sickness. So Jesus, right after telling his disciples, hey, pray for there to be more workers. He then sends those same men out who had just prayed about it to be those workers. I guess what I'm trying to say is sometimes we're the ones that we're waiting for. You know, you you see needs out there. You're, you're praying to God. Hey, God, please take care of this. God is saying, guess what? I'm sending you to take care of it. The Holy Spirit put that, that gave your, you um, uh, attention to that situation or struck up your attention about that need. And that's the reason, because I want you to take care of it. I want you to be the worker out in the field. So as we go into the fall, you know, we're going to be thinking about harvest time in America and, and, and people are going to be decorating pumpkins and there's going to be pumpkin spice and the leaves are going to be changing. Guess what? As you think about this harvest time uh, here in our country, think about the Lord's harvest and how God is sending you out into the field to to reap the harvest for him. He's prepared you to do good works in his name. That's our inspirational vitamin for the day. I hope you're challenged, encouraged, and that you'll be praying to the Lord of the harvest to send out more workers into his field and that you will go when the Holy Spirit calls you to go. Thank you.